So we are back again with now another NBA 2K19 My Team video and pretty much every single year I end up bringing out this tip video because you can see on screen right now I have completed the NBA domination which is the regular one and I'm pretty much halfway through fantasy domination but while I've been going through this I've been using the easiest method I think I've ever used in 2K to win every single one of these games by roughly like 30 points. And you guys can see I have gone against tough teams for example this one had Galaxy Opal, Magic Johnson, also Michael Jordan so it was a tough game but still also destroyed and I feel like I had to bring out this video because it will help a lot of you guys out quite a bit I'm pretty sure so first things first when you have a look at my team sure it might be a lot better than yours but really there's only two key positions where you need two certain players the first position is point guard so yes I do have Stephen Curry and this is a beastly card for what I'm going to show you in this domination tip tutorial he is seriously like the best card you could ask for because the main reason you need a card like this is because of his three ball because he has 89 across the board especially off the dribble is a key but there is a card that pretty much everyone gets that's almost exactly the same, if not better, because he has a better three ball, and it's this Daniel Gibson. So he's a Sapphire, 85 overall, and when you have a look at the stats, he actually has 93 contested, 93 open, and 92 off the dribble three. So if you can't afford Steph, I recommend him. For example, I have Baron Davis, yet I actually do run Daniel Gibson off the bench when I'm playing Domination. Then the next position I highly recommend is center. So for me, I run this Dirk, and the reason I like to run this card is because he has such a nice post for fade and post fadeaway is so overpowered in domination you guys will see what i'm talking about when we get into the actual gameplay but a lot of you won't be able to get this dirk so if you're like that two players i would recommend are joel Embiid and carl anthony towns just because you can see joel Embiid's post scoring stats are extremely nice and it's exactly the same with carl anthony towns as well so they're both recommended and then really other than those two positions i just run these other players just so they can get some scores for me but really just for defense but yeah basically a point guard you need a really good off the dribble three point shooter so Steph Curry and Daniel Gibson are probably the best options for that and then at center I like to run someone that can do post fade post hooks and also shoot the ball Dirk is the perfect option or Joel Embiid if you're on a budget so basically how this video is going to go is I already recorded and edited this video except now I'm going to talk about it and explain what I'm doing in the gameplay so you can see the team that I'm going against it's actually an okay team I have played against a lot better though but still like a couple of amethysts and stuff so setting up the offense you want to press right on the d-pad and then press L1 one go to freelance sets r2 and go four out one in this is a major key because i don't know i just prefer four out one in then you want to go into the freelance sets again and then press l2 and go to warriors it just makes the cuts and everything work a lot better so that's what it is setting up the offense now pulling up threes after an inbound so after you inbound the ball you just got to be trigger happy you got to run up and pull these threes this is why i'm saying steph and daniel gibson are so overpowered because you just run up pull the three and so many times that'll be open i'll show you guys in more depth as to why it's open but you can see here i drop at least like 40 points a game with steph every single time here's daniel gibson this time just run up it's wide open it's actually lightly contested that time buddy hits every single time and you can see he gets the score there but that's fine what we're going to do is we're going to bring daniel gibson up and you can see wide open three once again not really wide open but they still hit pretty much every single time so you can see here up there is Dan Daniel Gibson's direct opponent and he's sagging off so much. So this happens so often after an inbound, the player sags off so much and you just get an open three. I'll show you guys in this one as well. So there's Chris Paul, he's sagging off, he's right there, there. So you've just got a wide open three every single time. I could not tell you how often this happens. I figured it out and I do it every single time and I guarantee you I drop so many points. So Steph Curry is playing some really bad defense. He's running over there and I wait for him to stop until I inbound the ball and then I bring it up and then shoot the three. It's a green light and it's in. Because I remember in previous years I just instantly inbound the ball and try and get fast break scores. But you guys can see you actually want to wait for the defender to get back. So then they sag off for three and you get it splashed with Steph or Daniel Gibson. I show so many clips of this and this is just from one game every single time you get so many green lights and you can see sagging off once again they never pick up on it you can just do this the whole game and it works so after an inbound you can see i'm waiting with steph until the opponent gets back my defender i waited you can see i paused just there for one second and then steph curry runs up he's sagging off it's a three and it's in of course so be trigger happy this is something i didn't realize for quite a while is the opponent actually does sag off quite a bit so you just got to be happy to pull some threes 
but you got to realize you're not going to hit all of them some will be lightly contested but probably about 50 percent of the time you will make the lightly contested ones so we're just running up the core here and i see chris Dapps. i'm just going to pull it straight away lightly contested why not though because you want to make sure that you're quick on the shot clock you don't want to take up too much of the shot clock because then your opponent just takes a good shot on the other end we'll take that three just be trigger happy pull as many threes as possible you guys can see you ended up missing that shot there so we're going to run up and as i said be trigger happy so i think we should hit shane batty no we just pull it straight in his face and we end up missing but that's the thing sometimes when you miss you'll get the rebound actually quite often and we just play good defense here versus demarcus cousins grab the rebound and then it's just a fast break straight after but as i said be trigger happy so we're going to pull it straight in his face i don't care we'll splash it because it's steph curry but you guys can do it with that daniel gibson quite often as well because he has even a better three ball than steph so just good defense is what you need to play and then just fast break scores be trigger happy on the three and we'll run up pull it in his face and it's a green light quite often of the time to be honest so there's a lot of clips of this because this is what i do a lot you guys can see domination for me is just a three ball game so there will be quite a few times where you're actually unable to get the three ball to work and that's where you just want to use the post hook or post fadeaway cheese so you can see here all you got to do is just double tap that square button and then it'll put you in a post fade animation so i'm running up here with steph and i see i'm not going to be able to get that three so i'm just going to wait for dirk to come down hit the post with him double tap that square button get that move and then it's a green light so you usually make them i don't know it depends which player you're actually using i use mark eaton here who really isn't the best to use but luckily chris Apps went on that drive and we got the easy bucket yeah that's the thing i realized basically if you're unable to get the wide open three on the fast break you just want to hit the post with Dirk or whoever your center is, Joel Embiid, and then just go for the fade and make sure your scores are quick. That's the other key thing is to make sure that they're quick because sometimes you don't want to be using up the whole clock and we'll just hit the post again, do that post fade, and it's pretty overpowered because Dirk makes them probably 90% of the time. So fast scores is the next thing. This is pretty key because you don't want to be wasting too much of the shot clock or else you're not going to get the MT value or also sometimes not the win. So I just make sure that I run up the floor and I don't really care if it's a bad shot. I'm still going to take it anyway. We'll draw the free throws that time. I just go up no matter what because throughout pretty much the whole time I was playing regular domination I would just hit the post every time and take about 14 seconds on every possession this one was a little bit longer but I decided to call a pick and fade with Chris Stapps and we got a wide open three out of it so why not take that splash by Chris Stapps he's also a monster I would highly recommend him but as I said fast scores I don't really care we're gonna kick it back to Shane Battier for the wide open three that happens a lot too and yeah once you get a steal reaching is also pretty overpowered on defense you can just reach quite a lot and we'll go up with Mark Eaton there I've got no idea how he made that but that's the thing you just got to take these terrible shots and not really bother because to be honest defense is pretty easy at least for fantasy domination I know it does get harder in all time but I don't think I've allowed my opponent to score at least over 50 points with me the whole time that I played domination and defense is pretty hard to teach if you do want a tutorial on defense it's sort of hard because basically all I do is just stand in front of my opponent I don't bring double teams or anything there's Giannis with the post spin and it's pretty overpowered just there so you can you guys can see we ended up winning this game by 39 points which is quite a lot because it was a pretty good team with amethyst and rubies pretty much everywhere and when you have a look at steph curry's stats i mean 35 points 11 of 21 11 of 20 from three like we got 33 points just from three balls and you guys can see that was just pretty much from that inbound and then just shooting the three daniel gibson also had 21 points shooting five of 12 from three which is pretty nice as well and if you look at the team comparison stats we shot what 50 percent from three 21 threes that's how many I shoot but it works so why not do it yeah if you guys follow those tips you should find it pretty easy to be able to get three stars and also get the win in the domination games because yeah the main thing that I found and the reason I wanted to bring out this video is to show you guys that pulling up for three after the inbound because I haven't seen too many people do it but the CPU just doesn't play defense on it at all and you get wide open threes so you will get used to it like when I started doing it I wasn't really the best I was taking lightly contested but now I get wide open threes pretty much every single time I inbound the ball and then if you're unable to get the wide open three then why not feed your center who's mine's Dirk and then just hit the post fade or the post hook and you pretty much get a score every single time and yeah this video did take quite a while to make so if it did help out and if you did enjoy be sure to hit that like button also be sure to subscribe if you're new follow me on twitch twitter and instagram and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll catch you in the next video we're going to finish fantasy and all-time domination soon so i'll be able to bring out some pretty cool videos on that thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next video bye